day to all as we begin this third week of our Easter season of 50 days. We just heard on Sunday the story of the apostles on the road to Emmaus. You know, I can't imagine anyone living in this world who has not had their own experience on the road to Emmaus. What I mean by this is, like the apostles who experienced a tragedy in life, we experience huge disappointments. The apostles' life was turned upside down. And like the apostles, when that happens to us, we are like them. We get confused, grief-stricken, bewildered, unsure. We find ourselves on this road to Emmaus, questioning and wondering, what happened? Why? How do we survive this? As we know, the apostles ran into a stranger who turned out to be the Christ, who gave them a totally new perspective, helped them through their life-changing experience. You know, when we read the scriptures, we have to realize that they were all written many, many years after the experience of the crucifixion and the resurrection. And the stories were told by the followers of Christ, the apostles, as they gathered together and sat around and broke bread, and, and they told the stories of Jesus, and they told their experiences of experiencing him again after the, the resurrection and their journey on the road to Emmaus. But it didn't happen immediately. That's the important thing. It was a process, a slow process, where they continued walking with the Lord, allowing the Lord to open their hearts and open their minds for a new perspective on life. And this is the same for us. We don't gain new perspective after undergoing a life-changing experience immediately. It takes time. It takes time to walk our road to Emmaus, to hear the Lord speaking to us through the scriptures and our gathering at Eucharist to share the bread of life, to be with other believers who are struggling in the same way we are. So this week, as we begin with this famous gospel, let's each one of us reflect on our own particular road to Emmaus at the present time. Whatever we're working through, whatever challenge that we are faced with at the present time, to be patient with our God and ourselves as we struggle for a new perspective, like the apostles, as we struggle to find hope in a new way of living our lives after what we thought would always be the same. This is what the apostles thought, and they had to have their minds and their hearts open to start over, renewed and refreshed. So let us walk our road to Emmaus with confident patience that the Lord who was walking with us will grace us as the Lord graced the apostles with their resurrection experiences to not give up on life when it's turned upside down. Happy Easter again, because we are in, in the Easter season and we are an Easter people. Have a good week, everyone.